So I used to be really nervous about this topic whenever it would come up. Have you ever listened to a Kemper? Have you ever listened to an HX Stomp? Have you ever been to a concert and you think the guitar tone is absolutely amazing only to find out that they're using an emulator like the Kemper? Um, before we get started, please like and subscribe, leave a comment and let me know how you get your drum sounds or how you like to get your drum sounds. All right, let's get to it. First reason that I use Easy Drummer is barrier for entry. Now, look, miking a kit would be great, but do you have the right room? Do you have enough microphones to audition the right microphone for different snares? Do you even have different snares? You know, you have to get the right drum sound for the track and many people don't have all that. So I myself included. For most of us, the answer is no. And if you try to move forward and mic your kit anyway, it's probably gonna be an engineering nightmare. You're gonna run into the room actually starting to physically compress the sound that's bouncing back and forth. It's not gonna come out the way you think. And so having like a easy drummer or a superior drummer is game changing for that. Um, which brings me to the next point, which is auditioning sounds on the fly and grooves on the fly. Have you ever been making a song and you like the beat, but then all of a sudden a new beat comes to mind? Well, if you tracked your drums, now you gotta go back, set all the mics back up again, start a new session, and yeah, it might not fit into the mix. Let's pull up Easy Drummer and take a look at a few, a few things here. So one more thing to note is that being able to uh, audition sounds on the fly, that's why I always make the um, the argument that using Easy Drummer is just like using like a Kemper or some sort of amp modeling uh, software. So I think it's fantastic. And let's uh, check out some of the sounds that you can get and talk about some of the other things. Okay, we've got this session pulled up. I wanna talk about fixing mistakes and the speed of the workflow. With Easy Drummer, say that you get a session drummer to play like a MIDI drum kit and you pop it in here and it's just off, right? The, maybe, the, maybe the way that he hit the MIDI drum, it bounced and created two or three snare hits. Well, obviously you can just fix that really quickly and easily. And also you can tighten the performance just by quantizing in literally one button press. So that's always really cool. Um, but the other part is just auditioning the sounds, right? So let's take a listen to this groove that I have real quick. And here we go. Cool, so it sounds really good, but say that I didn't like the snare, right? I can just pop a new snare. I can change that to whatever I want. Say I like that, let's listen to what that sounds like. Cool, yeah, it's super easy to do. Um, now that does bring you to a second barrier for entry, which is a, is that you definitely want to be picking up different sound packs. You know, you if, if you only have one sound pack, then you know it's going to be it's going to sound great, but you know you're not going to have much variety there. Um, but the good thing is Black Friday is coming up, so be on the lookout. I'm sure Tune Track and all the good folks there will be having some good sales going on. So something that's kind of cool about using Easy Drummer, right? They got MIDI packs built in, which um, you know, it can help you create a groove. If we're gonna create a groove on the fly, let's check it out and see how it works and see how you kind of adapt these grooves to your song. So inside of the browser here, you've got, um, you've got different types of sounds. You've got ballad sounds, halftime, mid-tempo, you know, what, what not. For this tempo, um, I've already kind of picked out a few that I like. So let's listen to something. Let's listen to this one here. So I like that sound quite a bit. I think that's really cool. But what I don't like is the ride symbol. Um, I want, say I want like a hi-hat, right? This is how you fix that. This is how quickly it is to kind of take a beat that you like and swap it into something that you want. So I'm gonna drag it into this um, song builder section, double click it and move the power hand onto the hi-hat. Then from there, we can choose the articulation, whether that be a closed tip or, you know, an open, an open sound. Let's try an open sound and see what it sounds like.
Cool, so I kind of like it, but I think I want a tight sound. So let's just do tight edge. Cool, so that was good too, but there wasn't enough, uh, there wasn't enough hi-hat for me to really like the way that that, what I was going for there. So let's add some more notes. To do that, we'll make sure that we've got this selected. And then we'll just add some more and see what happens. Cool. That's as easy as that. I mean, that's super easy. You can't get any easier than that. And again, you can swap the sounds out in real time, you know, audition different drums, change the sounds. Um, and then the second part, that's the final part that's really cool about that is you can also send out the, the each track within the mixer, which you can find here. Um, you can send each one of these out individually to a, another mixer channel within your DAW, which is useful because then from there you can add like EQs or any special processing on each individual element of the drum kit. So that's huge. Um, that's super huge for me. But, you know, on the other side of it, alternatively, there are presets that come with it are awesome sounding too. So you could just as easily throw something together in just a couple minutes um, with what they have. My final thoughts on this, the speed and the convenience is just a must have for any artist or songwriter or even engineer or producer. Sometimes you might get you know, a bad drum session file, you can just swap it out, change, change it over to this and build it from the ground up. It'd certainly be a lot easier than having to go back and rent out another studio space or having to go back and set up all of these different microphones. And yeah, you'd spend a day or two, maybe even longer, just dialing that in. But to get the most from it, you're definitely going to want to have MIDI packs. You're definitely going to want to have extra sound packs just to swap out those different sounds and choose the right one for whatever project you're working on. You're also going to want to have like a MIDI keyboard or maybe uh, a MIDI drum set and have a drummer really play it and get that live feel. Now, alternatively, you can get my Grooves pack uh, that will be coming out very shortly, so stay tuned. Um, it's going to have a handful of different grooves in there that you could use as songwriters or artists and it would just be drag and drop, different fills, you name it, you'll be able to throw together a killer drum track because my session drummer is putting it together. So be on the lookout for that and subscribe to my mailing list to know exactly when that comes out. Thanks so much for watching guys. Until next time, we'll see you.